Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fake Card Friday. So today we are actually looking at a Burning Abyss card. You know, we've been looking at Burning Abyss card for a card view. Let's go ahead and look at one for Fake Card Friday. So of course, this one is fake in comparison to the other cards in card view, which are of course confirmed to be real. So uh, of course, you know, Burning Abyss, they of course have got uh, the XC being Dante, they got the uh, Synchro being Virgil, and now we have the confirmed Ritual Monster being Malakota. So, I would to assume that they are going to get a fusion monster, maybe? So, this person right here decided to go ahead and uh, create a fusion monster for Burning Abyss, and we're going to go ahead and uh, look at it and determine whether if this card is real, would they run it, and how good it really is. So, this is Draghig... Draghig... Nazo? I think that's it. Draghig... Nazo? Dragon of the Burning Abyss? It is a level 9 dark... Uh, Dragon fusion effect monster with 3,000 attack. That's 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 meat. That's beady. That's really that's really meaty That's really beefy. So highest attack out of all the burning abyss if this card was real <laughs> and uh, 2,000 defense. So that's why it's pretty good it Is the uh, material fusion materials. It is a uh, three fiend type burning this monster art, but aren't all burning abyss fiend type? I think they are no 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 No, they're not Dante is a warrior, so I guess. And I think Virgil is too. Yeah, so, no, never mind. So, it, it's pretty much the thing, you can't fuse with Dante or Virgil, okay? That's fine. But three fiend type burning this monsters, alright, so that's fine. You know, throw Polly up in the deck, you know, you know, open the hand, just go Polly. You know, fuse a Skarm, a, a Sir and a Graph, summon this, Sir, Graph will go off, summon, summon, uh, uh, Scarm will get you done the end phase, XC and the Dante, you know, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over this card's effect. Alright, my three cells are summoned from your extra deck, okay. I send the above cards you control the graveyard cannot be special summoned by other ways you do not use Palmer's action. Yeah. Damn it, I just came up with that, I just, I came up with that scenario for Polly, and now you tell me that we don't Polly contact fuses? Ew. Yeah. Mmm. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> you know, Polly? I can see that, you know, Polly. Fuse, like I said, that scenario. Just fuse with all three of them, go ahead and summon, they would all get their effects off, that's fine. But this is a contact fusion with Burning Abyss Monster you control. You gotta have three Burning Abyss Monsters on the field. You know, it's a hard enough time, uh, three Burning Abyss Monsters that are fiend types, so not including Dante. You know, it's a hard enough time having two just for fire, like, but three? Like, ugh, you know? I mean, you don't have to run Polly in your deck, which is fine, but, you know, this might be kind of difficult to get out. It's kind of difficult to have three Burning Abyss monsters that aren't, you know, Dante on the field and keep them on the field just to go ahead and contact Fusion and not have Fire Lake, you know? If I have three Burning Abyss monsters that are on the field, then I might want to Fire Lake instead of, you know, going to this guy. We'll continue. Well, let's just, let's just continue. All right. That kind of sucks. I'd rather Polly it, but all right. During either player's turn, your when your opponent activates a spell slash trap or monster effect that would target or destroy a card slash cards on the field, you can send one Burning Abyss monster from your main deck to the graveyard. Send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. You would think that you know if your opponent activates a spell trap or monster effect that would target or destroy, you think that the way that this this card was going, it would negate it. But no, 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 no. You just said you don't even get it. So literally, if your opponent would, you know, target you, you there's no way to protect you. So I thought it was going to negate it. I thought we were going to, I thought you were about to say, you know, if your opponent activates a spell trap or monster effect that would target or destroy this card, you can send a burning abyss monster and then, you know, negate the activation and destroy it. Nope, nope. So you're still getting it because the card would still resolve. It says, you know, if your opponent activates a spell trap or monster effect that would target a card on the field or destroy a card on the field. Uh, send one burning this monster from your deck to the graveyard to pick one random card out of your opponent's hand. So they would activate to whatever you would chain. Send a burning this monster from your uh, from your uh, deck to your main deck to the graveyard, and then you would pick something out of your opponent's hand. And then yeah, because this card had to resolve. So then you would take something out of your opponent's hand. This card would resolve. Then your card, your your opponent's card would resolve. Burning Abyss don't miss timing, so then after the whole chain is resolved, the Burning Abyss monster would start its own chain, where a Burning Abyss monster you sent from your deck to the graveyard would then go off. Alright, last effect. With this card is sent to the graveyard, 
target one burning this monster in your graveyard special summon another target. Alright, that's fine. So you get like a nice little replacement. As we know from Telenites with Dulcerose and Triv, we know, you know, that nice little replacement, you know, like, hey, I'm gone, but here, something in my place. Not, it's not a bad effect. Alright, so overall, what I think about this monster? No. No. I, no. If this was the real Burning Abyss fusion monster, no. No, thank you. This isn't what I need. You know, it's already hard enough to get three Burning Abyss monsters on the field that aren't Dante on the field. You know, let alone go ahead and contact fuse them. His effect isn't that good, you know. Ooh, pick one random card out of your hand. That's fine, I guess, but you're not doing anything, you know. If it was like, you know, when your opponent activates a spell trap or monster effect, you can, you know, send a Burning Abyss monster from your deck to negate and destroy the activation. Then we might be talking, because that, that'd that be pretty OP. You know, it doesn't even say once per turn. So literally, every time your opponent would activate anything, you'd be like, alright, send a Burning Abyss, negate, destroy, effect, go off, summon. Alright. Oh, you have to raise something else, negate, destroy, summon, negate, destroy, summon, oh, search, you know, just keep going, keep going, I'm floating and going off, and negating everything you do with 3,000 meters. But no, that's not what he does, and, I, and like I said, if that's what it really was, effect was, that'd be OP. That'd be OP as fuck, like, like, we might be talking about doing it, you know, I'd figure out a way, I should. You know, I'm not sure if Burning Abyss plays Soul Charge, but I know they'd definitely be playing it then. Because all they need to do is just get three Burning Abyss in a graveyard, Soul Charge, pay 3,000, summon three, bam, this guy, bam, what, you know? So, you know, that, yeah, but that's not as well that, you know? Pick up a random card out of your opponent's hand if they activate a spell trap monster effect that would target or destroy a card on the field, like, really. So, literally, you know, I can go and I can just go summon, summon, make a 101, detach, target you, oh, you know, send a burning bit, pick something out of my hand, okay, that's fine, gimme. You know, at least this card says, if this card is sent to a graveyard, so it's not like, you know, this card is sent from a field to a graveyard, so even when uh, 101 would detach it, you know, you would send it back, but you could just easily just make Castell and spin it back, so, you know, it's kind of, uh, and then you won't even get to target that burning bit, monster, and graveyard, special summon, target. I, I'd say no, I'd say no, I don't, I don't think that this card is worth playing if it really existed. They don't, the burning bits don't need this, and its effect's not good enough to be played like that, so, uh, there you go. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this uh, Dragon of the Burning Abyss, this fake card on Fake Card Friday, in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to this, uh, seeing you guys' comments. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. We will, of course, be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Alright guys, thanks for watching.